Hey everybody, it's Carrie. I was coming back to you today with a new video on diamond painting, how I get set up and started before I start the actual project, and then I'm gonna show you how to diamond paint, or at least the way I do it. Um, I've tried doing it a couple different ways, trying to do it one line at a time, right to left because I'm right-handed. I've tried doing small sections at a time. Um, I find what's easiest to do is to pick a col uh, color that there are lots of the same. So as you can see here, these are all D's. So it'll be easy to work on this big D section all at one time. Whereas if you go line to line, when you start getting into this area where there's lots of different colors going on, you're having to switch in and out with your um, colors. And it just seems to me to take up a lot more time. So after working on my first project, which was a lot of color change, um, I ended up finding the fastest, easiest method, especially when there's symbols involved, which you're trying to decipher and see. Um, it's easier to just kind of stick with, okay, I'm doing the symbol that looks like um, you know, two backwards arrows or whatever, you can, it's easier for your eyes to adjust and, you know, kind of search for it uh, versus keep switching. Then you have to try to find what you're looking for all over again. So I don't like that. But um, up to you, personal preference, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Just as long as you make sure you put your film back on this clear piece when you're, when you're done working, you're good to go. So those of you who don't know what diamond painting is, you get you pick out your canvas. It has symbols, uh, letters, numbers. You correspond the, use the key here, to correspond with your little diamond beads, resins, we call them diamond drills, and they come in square or round. Once you're done completing it all, you'll have a full, this is a full drill, which means it's the whole picture. It will all um, be sparkle and come to life. So um, it's actually really easy. The hardest part uh, for most people is getting started and set up. So you want to take whatever storage system you're using and get it ready. Um, so I've got half done. This is my other half. So it has the number, which is on the side of your key, and then the letter, which is what's going to be here. So 24 represents the letter R. So it'll be in this package. I'll find the number 24 packet and I'll dump that into here and close it. And then when I get to that, I'll know this is what I need. Okay? My camera, hello. Why don't you want to focus for me? Anyway, so that's what that's what we do. And like I said, I'll just start in this corner, uh, you know, up in here where it's all the letter D and it'll, and it, and it'll be uh, a lot easier doing it that way than to switch. Um, these are round diamond drills and I find them to be really uh, forgiving. You can, you know, move them around and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start separating and sorting, starting with number one and I'll just go all the way down. Um, and sort them into my containers. I also wanted to let you guys know in the other video I did, I wasn't kind of happy with the way this was curling up on me. So um, it's the next day from yesterday's video. And what I did was I just laid it flat on my table and I put my, my storage container on top, left it overnight. I came back up this morning and it's flat. Lays flat, no problem. So. That made me really happy and there's no creases or anything so this has a lot of beautiful colors so i'm really excited to uh start painting here and then kind of show you guys the progress as we go so hold on one second and i'll be right back <laughs> 